Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today, um, I'm gonna first I'm gonna film a video on how to do a half square triangle, and then I am gonna insert it honestly into most of my videos because I feel like I'm making them in every video. <laughs> so we're gonna do that first. We're gonna do a five inch half square triangle. And I'm gonna do it out of both these. These are I have two of each. They're both six and a half inch squares. So we're gonna take the lighter side and flip it over. I'll show you both ways in this one little video so I can insert it in and then you can, I encourage you to try them both and see which one you like best. So for the first one, we're going to lay out uh, our point, our edge of our ruler, corner to corner, and we're just going to draw a line straight down. Can't find my black pen, so we're using orange today. We're going to lay that to the side. Now this one, we're going to lay our quarter inch line from the corner to the corner. And then we're going to draw a line. This is actually my preferred method, but I've done them both. I still do them both occasionally. Now we turned it around and we're going to line up the quarter inch line again. And we're going to draw a line. So on this one, we're gonna sew on the line. And on this one, we're gonna sew a quarter inch on the side, either side of this line. So now we're just gonna line these up face to, face to face. I guess I cut this back one a little smaller or a little bigger. No big deal, we're gonna trim them up anyway. You just have to have, I would recommend at least a half an inch bigger than you want it until you get good at it. We're gonna pin that. And then we're gonna pin this. Again, right sides together. And now we're just gonna sew, like I said, on the one that has two lines, you're gonna sew on the line. On the one that has one, you're gonna sew a quarter inch on either side. So I'm gonna go do that, and then I'll be back to show you how to trim them up. Okay, so I've done that. And I do, the other reason I like the two lines better is because I find it's more accurate, even though I have the quarter inch. See, that one went a little wonky on me. I mean, I'm not all that worried about it, but I just prefer the more accurate one that's for me. So now we're just going to line this up again, right on that line, and we'll cut this one apart. And do the same here. Now there's no line, but you're just going to line it up corner to corner. And trim it down. Now we're going to iron them open. Well, maybe trim it all the way through. I think I need a new blade on that rotary cutter. Put that to the side. Grab my ironing uh, mat. So I have a lot of people asking me about the mat or the iron. Um, I linked what I could through Amazon. Um, I did sign up for affiliate links, so do know that if you decide to use my link, I do get a small commission at no extra cost to you. Uh, however, I didn't link the iron yet. It was from Walmart. I will link it. I just, I'm not sure they still sell it. Um, so I linked what I could as far as some of the things I use. Now the rulers, they came from, from Joann's, but they're, uh, Omni grip. Um, it's just what I started out with. So that's just what I use. Uh, the iron, they do have one on Amazon that's similar, but it's, it's the same brand but the top is different. It's wider, and I don't know that I would like it, but if you were interested, it would be worth a try. Anyways, so now we're going to grab our square ruler, and we're going to square these up. So to do that, you are just going to line the diagonal line up there, and you're going to get the edge, these two edges, as close to them as possible while you're still going to be trimming a little bit off because you want them to be straight. Well, if it would quit moving, I did. I do have that tape on there. I didn't link that either. I'll, I'll probably do that too, but I don't link them under the videos. Honestly, I'm not all that tech savvy. They're linked under, under my actual channel. Like you have to go to the channel, I guess the about section. I'm not really sure. I'm sorry. It's not very helpful, is it? <laughs> Okay, so then you're going to line up the diagonal again, and you're going to line up your 5-inch 
point down here and that will automatically line up your two five inch lines. So we're just gonna trim that off. And we're gonna do that to all four of them. Line up the diagonal as close to the edge as possible. Push them out of the way. Spin it around. And now you're going to line up the diagonal again, the diagonal again, and the point. And we're just going to trim off the edge again. That one moved on me. We're just going to get the extra there. All right. And again, this is for a five inch square, but honestly, you could use this tutorial for any size, just whatever you want it to be. I recommend when you're starting out, start with a half an inch bigger. It gives you extra wiggle room if you sew wrong so then we're going to line up the diagonal and the five inch point and that automatically lines up our other two all right one more Sorry if you saw my head there. See, this one is not quite right. There we go. Spin it around. Same thing, diagonal, five inch point and lines. There's not much to trim off on there. Put those in for my scrap pillow. All right, so there's that, how to do a five inch half square triangle. Now I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna get the rest for the actual block we're gonna make today. And then I'll be right back in just a minute. Okay, so I've got all my pieces. Then I have our five inch half square triangles. We have four of those. So today's block is going to be the snowball block that we made for our Christmas quilt along, but I've resized it to uh, 14 inches to fit my Harry Potter quilt so we needed the two the two yep two six inch blocks no, I'm not, no we needed two five and a half inch blocks of each one of the fabrics two different fabrics and then we needed four five inch blocks of our, what's going to be the snowball which I chose the lighter color this time and then one five inch block of our border fabric or opposite one um i chose snowball today i mean i was going to do it eventually anyway because i like the nine patch kind of look for the harry potter quilt but it's really snowing outside so i thought what a great day to do that one so there it is that's what the block's going to look like now we're just going to do just like always i'm going to sew my rows together so these two these two and these two and i will be right back okay so now i did leave them together on that middle one but I'm going to, if you're not comfortable with that, don't do it. Just cut them apart. It's really not that big a deal if you sew it wrong. Just pick it out and redo it. Or maybe you'll like it better that way and just leave it like that. So I'm going to sew the, the, all of them to the snowball part. The For mine, it's the Marolda's map. Because I want less bulk and these have... Just a little bit down there, but enough that I don't want it if I can avoid it. Again, if it goes the other way, whatever. But I try. <laughs> I don't always succeed, but I try to make it as easy as possible. Because why wouldn't you? This one don't flop all over. It does make it a little more work to iron there, but not really. Like, it's not like a big piece. I probably, and I didn't actually when I was doing the, the quilt along. I didn't do that. So now it's just like that. Again, make sure it looks right. Mine, you, is really going to look right anyway because I didn't worry about the direction on those. So now we're just going to fold this over. And we're going to line up our, our seams. Oh, 
All right, and then one at the beginning and one at the end. And we'll fold the bottom up and do the same thing. Now, I don't, I didn't really show it, but I'll be honest, on the, the little blocks, when I'm sewing my rows together, I don't always pin anymore. I did when I was starting out. And if you are new, I recommend you pin because it can slip on you pretty easily. Uh, but it's not really a big deal. Like I said, just go with, go with the punches, you know, but I do pin these. So I'm to the point where I don't pin the other ones, but I do still pin. If there's any kind of seam at all, I pin. So now we're just going to go to the sewing machine. I'm going to sew these up and I will be right back. Okay. I like it so far, this quilt. I hope my son's going to like it. I'm ironing this to the middle also because no seams, no half square triangle seams. I'm getting a lot better at this, you guys. Pretty excited. See, all it takes is practice. I mean, don't get me wrong. I still mess up a lot. All right, but there it is. A 14 inch block of the snowball name. I don't know how I was supposed to say that, but there's what it is. Let me know what you think and I'll see you in the next video.